Hi everybody. So in this video, this is it. All those wires we made at home, all that wiring, that uh, big connection bundle I made to put onto the control board for everything, it all comes to fruition here. So I'm back at the hangar, and I've got the, I've got my lights, I've got all my cabling, I've got the tools that I borrowed, uh, and my tools as well. And so now what we're doing is I took a piece of card, uh, cardboard, I took a piece of plywood. I've got a couple of terminal blocks. Uh, you can see the little red and black thing on there. I'll explain that in a second. And we are making a test bed, <coughs> a test bed for the lights. Here I'm taking an old piece of uh, aluminum from the kit that I didn't need, and I'm making a fake uh, panel, which you'll see. It's really cute. I always wanted to do this. I feel so official making that kind of stuff. So what I've done is I've made like a miniature panel two switches, two uh, breakers. And that's for the nav strobes, or one's for the nav position lights and the other one's for the strobes. So one's got a 5 amp uh, breaker and the other one's got 10 amps uh, respectively. Uh, but yeah, the terminal block, so what a terminal block is basically, as you, you look at those red and black kind of power strippy looking things that I've got on top of the uh, plywood. Basically what that does is that allows you to plug in a main power source, usually a battery or alternator or both, and then have a whole bunch of small little screws that hold down wires and that's where basically all the, the place where power gets distributed to all the different plane systems right in planes we don't do series we don't wire things in series we don't wire things in parallel we just wire everything has its own circuit why because it's safer does it use a shitload more wire yes but it is safer uh, so in this instance, I've got a 12 volt, 25 amp uh, power uh, system to use. I do have a spare battery to use, but I don't trust it. Uh, I think it's worn down. In fact, I'm, I'm actually charging it right now. But So anyway, I use that as the power source. I plug it into that terminal block, and I can power both of the lights. So what you're really seeing me here is kind of putting everything together, because I've already made all the cabling. Uh, I made the harness for the control board. Uh, I've made all the different plugins, and I've planned it out so that it's going to work really well. But before I do that, I have to actually put all the wires in place. Well, there's kind of a problem with that. See, what happened is one of the connectors for one of these fly LED lights, uh, and it's a four pin connector, yeah, I, I may have put it in backwards totally my fault too. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try to get it out. And what a pain in the ass. You know, it's sometimes I am the stupidest person on the planet. And that's when I realized that shit, I can't plug this wire in. I got to solder it out. So luckily, my soldering station, I did leave it home. In fact, I'm staring at it right now. It's mocking me. Uh, but, thankfully, our club mechanic happened to have his uh, soldering station in his work chest, so I'm using it to solder this connector out, pop it out, and then put it back in, in reverse. And it was a pain in the butt. I did a really good job of securing that thing the first time I put it in, and that was a mistake. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's not, that wasn't a mistake. That was the right thing to do. It just feels like a mistake now. So let's see. While I fix that, anything else? Oh yeah, so we had a little uh, paperwork issue with uh, with one of our club pa club planes. Got that cleared up. The airworthiness certificate disappeared. Uh, got a new one put in place. Thank you, Fizdo, for helping us do that. And so she's out flying right now. Very happy. She's the one that got the... Uh, we uh, up, not, we didn't upgrade the engine, but we kind of did. Not, we didn't overhaul it either. We just did what's called an IRAN. So it's there, and she's fine, and she's happy. And okay, so I put the connector on in the correct direction, and then someone showed up, and now I'm trying to show off my skills. So with that in place, and I just do a quick uh, connection test with my multimeter. Now I'm ready to plug everything in. I'm ready to plug the power in. I'm ready to do the breakers. Or pop the breaker in and then pop the switch. So the safe way to do it, you hook the power supply up with the breakers out. Make sure you don't see any sparks or arcing or smoke or anything. Pop a breaker in, give it a few seconds, look around, 
you know, no smoke, okay, we're going for it. Hit the switch and turn it back off. Before you blow anything on accident. Now, if everything looks normal, great, leave it on. If not, well, unplug it. There's that beautiful, uh... There's that beautiful connector that I made. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, sort of. Oh, uh, oh, uh, sort of. Oh, uh, uh, not really. There's my buddy Derek. He's coming to, uh... Help me diagnose a few things. So, yeah. Well, you know, it kind of looks like it works. Basically, for the rest of this video and for the rest of the next one, you're just going to see me diagnosing pain issues. And I'll tell all about that in the next video. You're going to big, long diatribe. Get it ready. So, see you soon.